Hello, my name is Aril Helgeland and I've been asked to uh, tell you how to avoid dancing framing lines on videos on YouTube. There are lots of good video blogs on uh, YouTube and uh, one of them, one I especially like as a foreigner in the Philippines, but he has done a common error. You see, his uh, first video is in the standard format and we will now see what happens when he changes to his iPhone. See? The editing program has selected standard format and now the widescreen format is shown with dark framing lines at the top and bottom of the picture. Uh, if everything had been in widescreen, uh, the framing lines you are seeing would not have been visible because they are dancing here. It's because he has been using the stabilizer function on YouTube, which function uh, quite good, but uh, not when uh, you combined standard format video and uh, the widescreen shot video. But there are ways to correct that. To correct the error on old videos, you have to do it on the PC. There is no way you can do it on the mobile. You just select the video handler. I'm using a Norwegian version of YouTube, so uh, but it says something like uh, editing, and then you uh, press uh, the bottom to the right, and uh, there is uh, enhan enhancements. You choose that, and uh, then you see there is a auto correct and auto stabilize. And this video I have been using only auto correction of the light but not the stabilizing function. But if, if you have used the stabilizing function, you can now just deselect it and press uh, save. And then a couple of minutes, the video stabilize function will be limited and uh, the framing lines will stop dancing. There are lots of ways of avoid dancing framing lines and to get every format shown in widescreen. Then the standard format will be shown with the black framing on both sides, not at the top and bottom. The, my preferred program is this one, Capture by Google. You can find it where you download your applications for your device. It is very easy to use. You just uh, select the first video you want on your clip. If you want to trim it, you can uh, reduce the length in the start. Uh, that was the end or the start. But uh, in this case, I want to use the whole clip. And then I just press another clip and uh, I select this one. The first was in a normal format and this one is in widescreen. And then I just, uh, well, I don't want to add any text or anything uh, right now. So I just want to make this movie. Just press that button, it goes to the uploading screen. Uh, here you can uh, select whether you want the people to see it or not. Uh, you can share it on Google+, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and uh, this button here is for selecting or deselecting image stabilizing or color correction. If you are using an iPhone 5, it can be a good idea to use the stabilizer. But uh, if you are using an iPhone 6 or 7, you don't really need it because uh, they have a built-in stabilizer. So I'm normally deselecting, but, uh, and especially if, if you are having a 
lots of scenes taken in standard format mixed with uh, uh, widescreen format. Uh, the stabilizing will make the framing line stance that direction, and that is not nice either. Uh, so you should be very careful by using the stabilizing function. But uh, on most video, it can function really good. But uh, I'm using it with a lot of care. Well, to upload the video and start editing it, because now it still remains as two different cuts on this device. But by pressing upload, the video is now being uploaded and being created as a new video file. So now the uploading is completed. You can uh, watch it on YouTube if you want, but uh, you can also go to your camera roll and uh, when you select the videos, the last video is the video we just made, which is both the cuts. And that one you can upload to Facebook if you want to do that. The video is now completed and you can see it on YouTube already. Okay, go ahead. This is the video I just made. Those photos are in standard format. They are from my hometown Merida. And uh, I will now uh, cut to a widescreen video. It's my television set with a video with dancing framing lines. And uh, I, don't I don't really like watching videos with dancing framing lines, but some of them have a very good content and uh, well, I'm watching them anyhow, but uh, I don't really like dancing framing lines. If there are some other tips you uh, want me to tell you about, I have lots of good advice on things to do and things not to do on good programs, bad programs, bad applications, good applications. Just uh, give me a little hint here on YouTube. Have a nice day.